We've been talking about utilizing data to influence where we target our training time. Let's take a look at the sales world as just yet another example. One of the challenges with training salespeople is kind of knowing where to start. So let's think about all the different ways we could leverage data to do that. One is, what are the products you sell the most of? That's a pretty easy report to run. If you sell a lot of product XYZ, you should probably train on it. If you sell a product ABC once every 27 years, eh, you probably don't have to put a lot of training time there. What are the products that have the highest profit margin? You can do the same thing with revenue. What are the products generating the most amount of dollars? You're going to want to put your time there. You could also look at it geographically. Look at your territories and run numbers of the product mixes in those areas and then begin to kind of tweak a standardized training program so that you have the right amount of information going to the right areas. You could also look at the age and experience level of your sales team. If they're fairly new, guess what? You're going to have to train on more basic fundamental skills, prospecting, qualifying, discovery meetings, etc. If you have a more advanced or more experienced sales team, maybe you're getting into those sort of deeper level topics like negotiation, large system sales, meeting with the C-suite, etc. You could also look at your sales cycle. If you have a sales cycle with a lot of products that move very quickly, you're going to change the type of training you do versus if you have a very long system sale, capital investment sale that takes 12 years to close. And guess what? That is going to influence how you roll out the training to match the sales cycle. Look at your sales performance. You've got a bell curve. You've got the middle of the pack, which is going to be the vast majority of, of your team. And you can build and put together trainings for them, all the normal sales stuff that we would do. You have your high performers at the right hand side of the bell curve. You're going to want to give them more advanced topics at the back end, the left hand side of the bell curve. You have the people that need a little TLC. So give it to them through the vehicle of training. The great news is you can run all these reports in your CRM very easily. You might even know the answers to these questions intuitively. What do you think? Let me know. Leaves me some comments down below. How does your sales organization leverage data for their training? And if you found this helpful, like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to share with a friend. For more information, you can always reach out at noboringtraining.com.